G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and today we're going to be doing a primary colour art challenge. The problem is when I thought up this concept I thought, you know what, the primary colours, you know everyone knows them, we've got red, we've got yellow and we've got blue. But then it hit me like a ton of bricks, it's not such a simple concept because in any video where I've mentioned primary colours and said red, yellow and blue, there's a huge amount of people in the comments who say, it's not red, yellow and blue, it's cyan, magenta and yellow. That is exactly what you sound like when you say that in the comments and you know it. <laughs> Indeed, the timeless battle of what the primary colors are, red, yellow, and blue, or cyan, magenta, and yellow. Wikipedia tells me that primaries normally consist of cyan, magenta, and yellow, though the set of red, yellow, and blue is popular amongst artists. What does that mean? Does that mean like we don't really know what the primary colors are? We're just like really precious about our red, yellow, and blue combination? I even posted a poll on Twitter asking you guys which one, red, yellow, and blue, or cyan, magenta, and yellow, and you could make up your minds. Obviously most most people said red, yellow, and blue because most people are reasonable. But it's never unanimous on the poll or in Wikipedia or in comment section of my videos. So to find the best route to make everyone happy and have an outcome I can be satisfied with, I'm going to try and cater to both. And speaking of looking for the best route to a satisfying outcome, if you're looking to build a website, I recommend the sponsor of this video, Wix. Jazza, I think that was your best segue yet. You really think so? I mean, I thought it was right. No, honestly, I mean it. It was incredible. You should be proud. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I thought it was pretty good too. Wix is an amazing website builder with a huge amount of professional tools to build a powerful professional website. Whether you're a beginner or an expert and want to code and fine tune aspects of your website, or if you're a dummy like me, all of the website building features of Wix are so powerful and fun and easy to use from the form builders to the apps and the Q&A builders and the booking systems and the e-commerce stuff, it's all there. I built drawwithjazza.com using Wix and can highly recommend it for you, especially if you're an artist artist and you're looking to get your art out there or you want to get some client and freelance work, you can build forms and ways for people to directly contact you or book your artwork or buy your prints or posters, whatever it be. Having a website and an identity online that you can call your own is one of the most important and powerful things that you can do and Wix is one of the best, easiest and most fun places to do that. And you can get started for free. So use that link in the card and in the description and go play with all their powerful tools today and build your own website. Can't recommend it. Enough. And a huge thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video. And speaking of this video, let's get started with today's activity. God, my segues are just on point today. So I have here my combinations of red, yellow, and blue, and cyan, magenta, and yellow. What I want to do just to demonstrate the conflict I'm facing is uh, just lay down a whole bunch of each. I don't know why I put yellow down twice. I suppose I, I can use that with the cyan and magenta. Put the red and the blue down over here, and then over here, I'm going to have the cyan. Add magenta. There we go. Now the theory is if you mix cyan and magenta, you get blue. Does that look like that? I mean, I guess. I mean, the cyan and yellow is supposed to make green. Oh. It, it does make green. I mean, what about yellow and, and magenta? It's supposed to make red. God damn it. That's a perfect red. <laughs> I mean, this is the color chart that people use when saying cyan, magenta, and yellow are the primary colors because, because the red, yellow, and blue are inside that. But does that work if you invert it? Yellow and red. Okay, just gonna fill this in here. And now blue over here. I can't make cyan and magenta out of red, yellow, and blue. No! I'm limited with markers though. There's only one tone I can lay down. What if I use pencils? Can I get cyan and magenta out of red, yellow, and blue? I'm gonna try and replicate this color or something akin to this and this color. There we go. For magenta, okay, let's lay some, uh, say some red down, some yellow, just like a tiny, tiny bit of blue, just tiny, tiny bit. No, come on, come on, come on. Can we make cyan? The point of primary colors is that you can make all other colors 
from your primary colors. So you should be able to reverse it and make cyan and magenta from red, yellow, and blue if they are true primary colors. I swear to God, in this video, I'm going to make an artwork, but I'm just going to spend the first chunk of this video being a crazy person with a tinfoil hat on, desperately trying to justify his childhood beliefs. <laughs> Can I replicate blue and red with cyan and magenta? Oh. This is like physically hurting my soul as it's working. <laughs> All right, this is the, uh, this is the, the chart for Cyan, magenta, and yellow, and we have green, blue, and red. There is only one way to resolve the conflict I'm feeling, and I'm sure many of you are feeling too, and that is a battle to the death. I'm going to illustrate a champion, a heroic champion for red, yellow, and blue, using only red, yellow, and blue, and likewise, I'm gonna create a heroic champion for cyan, magenta, and yellow, and you guys are gonna vote on the outcome and, and decide who the ultimate winner is. Who should be the triumphant primary king? This is a question we've never confronted directly on this channel and many of you watching this may not have either. So hand in hand, we're going to, for once and for all, see who comes out. And here we have it, the finished result of my primary color art challenge. I, uh, I, I'm in a position where I feel conflicted still. I feel more conflicted now than when we began. Uh, first and foremost, elephant in the room, 
RGB. Uh, I sh sh obviously <laughs> should be RYB. I think that happened because uh, if you open up Photoshop, if you go image and mode, you can select RGB mode, which is what I use by default. And then there's CMYK. And those are the two color modes. So I got mixed up and stupidly wrote RGB instead of RYB because it red, yellow, but just it does, that does it. Just ignore that. That do, that shouldn't be a factor in your part of making the decision with me as to the primary color thing. The MYC, the magenta, yellow, and cyan colors seems to mix better, but I also couldn't get solid reds or solid blues. And I did try and do that in some of the deeper areas and it wasn't really happening. Even though on the trial paper, I could make those colors in practice, uh, unless you're a printer, it's a little difficult to work with. So I think even if I'm working with like paints and a canvas, I would pick RGB to work with over, you know, magenta, yellow, and cyan. However, the RGB colors, you can tell they don't mix as nicely. This sort of whitish yellowy area for the skin tone or the, you know, the middle area of the suit in both of them. I think in the RGB, uh, God damn it. I think in the red, yellow, blue suit looks a bit flatter and I like the tone more on the, on the magenta, yellow, and cyan. Look, at the end of the day, I can't make a decision. I'm, I'm really stuck here. So I have two polls I need you guys to vote on. The first poll that you need to vote on is to tell me which is the true set of primary colors. Is it red, yellow, and blue, or is it yellow, magenta, and cyan? The second poll is who wins? We have RYB and MYC fighting and clashing in their battle of the primary color superheroes. It's less about the design and it's more about the colors. Which color superhero wins? Which colors made for the best color in that superhero? Usually when I put these polls out to you guys, I have an idea as to what's gonna win. This time, I have no clue. I'm looking forward to seeing what your answers are and uh, I guess finally settling that age old question of what the true primary colors are for getting the best and most diverse results possible. And speaking of getting the best, God damn it. This whole conflict has ruined my segue abilities. Speaking of getting the best results, if you're looking to make your website, once again, I want to recommend the sponsor of this video, Wix. They're an amazing platform to build your website from scratch. And whether you're a pro or a novice like me, there's a lot you can seek your teeth into and they have amazing, powerful tools for really in-depth stuff, but they have also just all the basics to just get your website up and running and looking stunning on mobile and on tablets and on desktop devices. So go check out Wix with the link in the card and in the description. It's free to go dive into it now. I even made a video a few months back on how to make your own website with Wix, which was me making my website. So if you don't know where to start, but you want to try it out, I'll put the link to that in the description too. But once again, my recommendation is to go check Wix out if you're looking to get your website up today. And a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Speaking of huge thanks to things, huge thanks to you for watching this video. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, subscribe to Draw With Jazza. We have fun with art and animation and this community. I like to take on challenges and answer the hard hitting questions once and for all. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.